It's your mind at this point. It's your mind. Your body's going to go. Your body's going to go. Your body's going to tell you no. At one point in time, your mind and your dog has to push you out. That's the dog. We talk about that dog. That's the dog. That's the dog. Push through that shit. You'll be all right. We only got, we only got a couple breaths. We're good. The Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Joe Tryon, linebacker of Washington. Uh, <laughs> It was just an exciting time, very exciting time. You know, I was fortunate to make it to the first round. Um, just kind of the nerves and everything that went along with it. But, uh, you know, once you make it, you kind of know that's when the work starts. You know? Going undrafted, how excited were you to end up here? You know, obviously you're from here to, to end up with the Seahawks. Of all 32 teams, that's got to be pretty cool. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, going undrafted, uh, you know, obviously, not, obviously it's not preferred. But, you know, to end up here, you know, I think everything happens for a reason. And, you know, this is a home. I remember leaving the green room and I told my agents, we're gonna be okay, we're gonna be fine. Just trust me. Yeah, this season was everything that I hoped it would be. Just my 10th year um, with Seattle, I was balling, just looking looking good, making plays all over the field. And um, it, felt it seems like, uh, you know, Tracy Ford has meant a lot to you and the people at his gym. Um, could you uh, just kind of explain what he's meant to you? Um, past couple of years, specifically, you know, this offseason coming off your best year, and, you know, like you said, the training magic regimen with your health and just everything he's meant to you. Um, Absolutely. Um, I've known Tracy since I was, what, 15 years old. I've been training with him every every opportunity I've had with every time I'm in Washington. But he's been a real big mentor for myself, just kind of being around a lot of guys that have been have been in the league. He knows a lot of guys at the Seahawks, like Bobby and KJ. So he's been around a lot of top shelf players, two Hall of Famers in my eyes, being from Seattle, watching Bobby and KJ play. And uh, he just kind of coached me up on how I need to, how I need to work and it's the off season, like what you should be doing right after the season, what you should be doing like right before. Ford Sports Performance serves as the top of the line in both youth and high school training, as well as training for an elite group of NFL players that call the Pacific Northwest home each year for their off season grind. The NFL talent has a diverse grouping of players consisting of established veterans and young and hungry players looking to make their mark on the league. Some of the young talent includes Joe Tryon, first round draft pick to the Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers out of the University of Washington. Those established veterans include all pro linebacker Bobby Wagner, who returns to FSB to train for his 10th season with the Seattle Seahawks. Um, Bobby Wagner, the, the message that he sends to these young guys, the the uncandid conversations that he's able to have with these young guys and the way that he'll still compete with these guys and let them know that, man, I got a lot in my tank and y'all ain't there yet. Um, just as motivation for the young guys to keep pushing. If, he, if Bobby's doing it, I should be doing it. If Bobby does one more rep, I got to do one more rep. Along with Pro Bowl linebacker K.J. Wright, training for his 11th year in the NFL. Guys like K.J. Wright who, who, who strive themselves on perfection, of doing the little things, going around cones, um, you know, not taking breaks when they don't need to take breaks, standing up and not, not bending over, those little things. I mean, it is just contagious, the leadership that those guys bring. Among the NFL group's best players, standout receiver DK Metcalf, coming off his best year yet, continues to improve his game by training with FSP during his offseason. Another returning FSB grinder is all-pro left tackle Dwayne Brown, the anchor of the Seattle Seahawks offensive line. He looks to continue his excellence in the league going into his 14th season. Stanford standout Connor Weddington returns to his roots at FSB where he has trained since high school to prepare for his pro day and following rookie season.
put up as who you are, and it will stick with you for the rest of your NFL career. I promise you. When you get drafted, it's gonna stick. If you're undrafted, it's gonna stick. What you ran, it's gonna stick. Perform, perform. I'm gonna give you guys two minutes. Two minutes, we're gonna get, we're, we're gonna weigh in. Strip down, be ready to go. Strip down, be ready to go when the name's called. Nick Pickett, 194.6. 195 even. We got Pro Day coming up here soon. It's uh, roughly a week out and I'm really excited about it. It's a very big day. Um, and at the end of the day, this is a showcase to all the NFL teams, all the scouts, um, to show them what type of player and what I can bring to their team. Gotta go out and show out. Connor Weddington has been a staple of what an FSP athlete is for the past few years. From a standout athlete at Sumner High School to an electric player on the field in the Pac-12, Connor is expected to have a big pro day and is on track for an exciting career in the NFL. I think Connor Weddington, he's always been an underdog. There's ne never a time that I don't think he was an underdog as far as when he's talking about playing at the highest level. The desire in that kid to be great and to be a top player in the country was unmatched. When there was a time for the high school kids to work, he didn't miss a beat. And that just goes to the to the leader, the leadership that he contains. So when I look at him as, as he goes through the next steps of his journey, um, there's no question, no doubt in my mind that he's gonna make it. I'm excited to watch his journey. And I can't wait to see it. A fast one for Connor, right on the money again. Nice. Being a mentor is everything, man. It's a, it's a role I really embrace. The older I've gotten, you know, and it's all part of the game. When I came in the game, I had a couple guys took me under their wing, showed me the ropes. At this point in my career, it's only right. I think it comes natural. Just seeing the young guys come in, uh, you know, wide-eyed and, and ready to ready to go. I just uh, try to, you know, give them some tips on the game, tips on life, just kind of how to navigate through this thing. And uh, it's always a good feeling, you know, when you see guys grow and progress and, and, and come into their own, you know. So uh, I really embrace that role and I enjoy it. When you look at guys like Dwayne Brown, guys that have played a significant long time in the National Football League, I mean, the thing that sticks out to me the most is the, the knowledge that they're able to share with these young guys. We had Dwayne Brown, who was a former first round pick, you know, training right alongside um, Joe Tryon, who was, you know, a first round pick. And the message that, you know, he gave to Joe was unmatched um, because he's been, he's been in his same shoes. You know, I've been rocking with Tracy in FSP since I was 17. Um, Tracy really means a lot to me. Coming in at 17 years old, I didn't really know what it took to get to the NFL. Uh, I just knew I wanted to play in college first. And, you know, seeing all pro players like Bobby Wagner, KJ Wright, Richard Sherman, you know, they really you know, paved the way for me. I took what I could from them, you know, just looking up to them. You know, I hope to do that for younger dudes looking up to me now. Just being that role model. That's really what the FSD film is about. No matter age or, or the background, you know, we're you know, all just trying to be great. What exactly does it mean to be an athlete? At FSP, an athlete is someone who continuously puts in the work day in and day out, competes despite whatever the odds may be against them. It's someone who people look up to and want to be. These FSP athletes never disappoint and are here to prove, once again, you can't cheat the grind.